been a couple of weeks since I uh, got the car home, ordered parts, and made a video and everything. But uh, not a whole lot has happened, but things are about to happen now today and this weekend. So parts wise, I managed to find a 88 housing and I bought some uh, 31 spline four log Tom axles. They are used, but they will, uh, they will be good enough. So that's the housing and the axles. I also got a brand new set of Ford Performance uh, 373 gears. I got a Posi diff out of a 0304 Cobra, brand new. Um, I think it was used to mock up a rear end or something, but there's no miles on it. Um, so that will go in. I just got to get the uh, shim and bearing kit. I picked up a set of 26 by 10 by 15 uh, slicks on uh, centerline auto drag wheels, four lug. They're pretty cool, old school looking. Uh, I think I will keep them like that. I was thinking about painting them black, but I don't think a lot of people would be happy about that. So yeah, tires are brand new, rims are uh, in pretty good shape. I'll give them a quick clean in, they'll probably need to be buffed and everything. But that is nothing. So I got skinnies for up front as well. They are 26 by 10 by 15 straight drag slicks. So no uh, street class for me. But I'm going to get a set of radicals. I think street, street approved. Dot six or whatever it is. So yeah. As far as the car goes. The, I got the coil on. The distributors in all wire new battery. The uh, ignition box I got just tucked in under the uh, passenger side for now because that distributor is not going to be staying. The coil and box will be, so I don't have anything mounted yet. Everything is literally just uh, just mocked up because all this is coming out again eventually. Well, not eventually. It's coming out uh, this weekend. So nothing is really mounted or secured because, like I said, I'm not, it's not all happening. So I got just rigged up some gauges and an attack, just roadkill style, just to make sure everything works. That's where the uh, 6AL is just hanging around there. I got a bit of coolant under the carpets. The previous owner must have had a heater coral leak and coolant is just seeped and it's all under the carpets and everything. So when I get the car back up the weekend with the motor out, I'm going to start stripping the interior completely and then we'll start reassembly. So yeah, it fires up, best kind. I uh, had it around the block a couple times a few weeks ago. Then I got these gauges and saw them, rigged them up, and it started snowing. Of course. Oh, that was easy. It's pretty cold out. Oh yeah, I figured. It is winter. So it has oil pressure. I don't have the voltage hooked up because I the alternator is not on. Okay. She runs. So yeah, this is just a little quick update. It's going to get the motor and trans pulled out now the weekend. Then it will be coming back up here. And I will start cleaning the hell out of it and do a bit of painting I'm going to do around the trim. Try to fix whatever I can body-wise. I'll give it a good wax polish, good cleaning, and uh, yeah, this is one more step to it. Get them ugly wheels off. But I still have a couple of big things that I need to get. I need to get a carburetor. I'm looking for a 750 double pumper and I need a set of long tube headers and those two items are very hard to find apparently I mean I could buy them new out of the States but it will cost me a fortune but that is probably what I'm going to end up having to do so yeah stay tuned the next uh, video will probably be when I get it back up here and I'll uh, just go over what I'm going to do. I'm going to deep clean it and show what I'm going to use to clean it with. I got lots of good cleaning stuff here. So, uh, 
yeah, stay tuned. Hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment. Like, all that stuff really helps me out, even though I haven't really done any videos lately. So whatever, uh, whatever you can do, help. Like, share, subscribe, comment, show your friends. Would love to learn as much as I can about these Mustangs. So if you have any input, please leave it down in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.